Hello everyone. Uh, we are talking about generation of DSBFC. In the generation of DSBFC, we have to discuss a specific circuit which will be called DSBFC modulator. Uh, it is called modulator because it will carry out the process of modulation. And in this process, the modulator will take two signals as the input signal. One is the modulating signal, which is nothing but the actual information signal which I want to transmit. Modulating signal in our case consists of single frequency which is FM. In practice it will be a range of frequencies from 20 Hz to 20 kHz which we need to translate to some high frequency range and for that we are carrying out the process of modulation. The second signal that we are using is the carrier signal which will have the frequency FC, the carrier frequency which will be high frequency. The output of the DSB FC modulator, DSB FC signal and DSB FC signal will have the frequencies starting from FC minus FM to FC to FC plus FM which forms two sidebands and the carrier. It's called double sideband full carrier. Now there are two types of DSB FC modulators. Let us see what are the two types. Along with modulator and other circuitry we will form something called as transmitter. We will design the entire transmitter of DSBFC in which apart from modulator, we will have few other blocks also. For example, some of the uh, other blocks will be the amplifier, let's say for example. The amplifiers are needed to amplify the input signals which are in the form of modulating signal and the carrier signal. And there'll be many other blocks which we'll be discussing when we look at the actual diagram of the transmitter. Now, why do we have two types of uh, transmitters? That's uh, because there are two ways in which we can give the input signals to the modulator. In the first type, the transmitter that we will be studying is called high level modulation which is also called HLM in short so high level modulation transmitter and the second type that we'll be studying will be low level modulation in short it is called LLM transmitter so now let us try to understand what is high level and what is low level modulation. In HLM, in high level modulation, the modulation takes place at high level. When I say that, it means high power level, which will have the high power level in the process of modulation. It is nothing but the modulating signal. So when modulating signal is power amplified by series of power amplifiers, and then given to the modulator, it is called high level modulation. So in high level modulation, the modulating signal will be containing large amount of power already in it. And because modulating signal is high level in terms of power content, the carrier signal will also be power amplified and then given to the modulator. So in simple words, in case of HLM, the modulation takes place at high power level. And hence, because of that, the output of the modulator, which is DSBFC, will already contain high power. And hence, we will not need any power amplifiers, or I would say, we will not need a lot of power amplifiers after the modulation stage, because the input signals already contained large amount of power. And hence, output of modulator can be transmitted directly through antenna without any further power amplification. On the other hand, when we talk about low level modulation, which is the second type, we will not power amplify the modulating signal before the process of modulation. The modulating signal in case of low level modulation will contain low amount of power. It will be of low power content and it will not be power amplified. It will be given to the modulator as it is. And because of that, carrier is also not power amplified and given to modulator with low power content. The output of modulator in this case, the DSBFC output, will be of low power content and hence it will not be suitable for direct transmission through antenna. Because before we transmit the signal, 
it must have specified minimum amount of power in it and hence in case of low level modulation we will require the power amplifiers after the modulation stage so there will be series of power amplifiers after the modulation stage and then once the double sideband full carrier signal is thoroughly power amplified it will be transmitted through the antenna so the very important difference in the LLM and HLM transmitters is that you will see power amplifiers before the modulation stage in case of HLM and you will see power amplifiers after the modulation stage in case of LLM. Let us now look at the detailed block diagrams of both high level modulation and low level modulation.